Hi, thanks for joining me for another episode of The Top Brass. Today, I want to talk to you about events and more specifically, participating in community events and having engaging booth spaces. Um, it's something that I'm involved in. I've been involved in uh, coordinating community events in one aspect or another for many, many years now. And there is nothing sadder to me than watching somebody come out set up a whole booth, a table, a tent, whatever the case may be, with nothing to do, nothing for anyone else to come do or see and just sort of stand there expecting people to come to them um, and just spending all of that time alone. Because it's a huge investment of your business and to send you, to uh, give you the opportunity to engage, to uh, pay the entry fee or participation fee, whatever it is for the event, um, and have the materials and the things that you're bringing with you for no engagement, for you to get nothing out of it. So I want to help all of you who are participating in events find different ways to be engaging. Um, so I put this on my blog. For those of you who haven't seen it and you enjoy reading things, um, I have a blog. It's Jennifer E. Goldman dot blogspot.com so you can read this if you prefer to do that than to listen to me or watch me which i don't blame you um, but if you prefer watching videos i figured i would do the same thing that's on the blog in video version for those of you who would prefer to watch and listen um, so when you are in community events it's imperative that you engage with the public that you get the most out of it that you can and the best way to do that is by being entertaining by being fun by being engaging and so there are several ways that you can do that. I always recommend send more than one person. Um, for those of you who haven't done events or maybe you have and you just don't really um, see the same way, uh, my recommendation is to have more than one person. That way there's always somebody at your table, even if someone has to go get a drink of water, they need to go to the bathroom or to help with setup, to help with cleanup. Um, and also to, um, to give you someone to work with, to work off of, to play with and, and play off of, I guess, um, to help you get that engagement ball rolling. And, and so always bring multiple people if you can. Um, one of the great things about having a table, a display, it doesn't have to be a huge investment of money, um, but bring some swag with you. Everybody loves free stuff. So that's one of my recommendations. Invest in, in Printing logo things, things that people will use that have your logo, hopefully your website and or your telephone number on it as well. Um, things that help people remember your name, your brand. Um, some of the things that I recommend using for swag, of course, there's millions and millions of options of things you could get anywhere from a pen to I've seen people do Yeti mugs. Um, as swag. So um, I'm sure that costs a pretty penny. Um, but some of the most uh, enjoyable things that I've seen or, or useful things that I've seen people do with swag um, would be things like uh, USB thumb drives, um, post-it notes, pens, mugs, or cups, um, drink cozies or koozies, however you want to say it. Chip clips is a good one. Um, Keychains, coasters, flashlights, um, some of those things, if you can bring that kind of swag, people love free stuff. So ha just having that on your table is great, but if you can do more with it than just setting it out and letting people take them, that would be great. A great thing that I have seen some of our event sponsors do is to bring out a prize wheel. So maybe you get five different pieces of swag. You've got a pen, a mug, a keychain, a USB, um, what do you call it? USB flash drive, thumb drive, um, and a chip clip. Um, and so you put each one of those things on a prize wheel and you let people spin it so that they win the swag. Um, because it's always more fun to win stuff. Uh, as much as we love free stuff, we love winning stuff. So let them win their swag. Um, that's a great way to be engaging. Plus the prize wheel itself, if you get it up and decorate it. And I always recommend, if you've got kids, let them help you with this. Kids have great ideas. They love to be creative. I guarantee you that prize wheel will have many more colors and glitter all over it than you would ever anticipate. But that's eye-catching. Those are things that are going to make people come to you and ask you, ooh, what is that? How do I win? Um, kids activities, children's activities, things for the kids to do. I don't know if you have kids. I have kids and I can tell you children are wonderful at dragging mom and dad over to something they want to see. So if you can get a kid's activity, something that catches the child's eye, they will drag their parents from wherever or grandparents or whoever they're with from wherever they are to your booth, whether it's just, you know, to give them a balloon 
Um, maybe there's um, sidewalk chalk that you give them that they can draw or a color a coloring page, uh, a coloring book page um, that they can color on. Maybe it's a pumpkin that they can draw on with a Sharpie marker to make their own jack-o-lantern or maybe it's a some soil in a cup and a seed and you know for Earth Day help them plant something. Try to go with the theme of either the theme of the event or maybe theme of the season um, that you can do at the table with the kids because they will bring their parents or adults, whoever is supervising them with them. Um, and the nice thing about that is you have something great for the kids to do. So parents will be grateful and they will remember. But also the fact that the kids are busy for a couple of minutes means you have a couple of minutes to talk to the adults about what your business is and why you're there. Um, so that's a great way to engage with the public. Also, um, try fulfilling a need. When people are there at events, a lot of times um, it's outside. It might be super hot. Maybe it's great if you can provide little bottles of water for people or have um, one of those tanks of waters and, and you know your free swag cups and they can use that to get themselves a, a, a cup of water. Um, maybe while they're walking around, their phone is out of charge. So maybe you can set up a charging station for people. They can stand there and let their phones charge for a few minutes. Um, maybe, maybe they just need a place to sit down. Maybe this event doesn't provide that or the places to sit are few and far between. Bring some comfy, cozy lawn chairs. Let people hang out with you. Um, that's a great one. And just anything you can think of that people might need while they're at an event. Um, I would shy away from providing the bathrooms. That's just me. Um, but anything else that you can think of that someone walking around an event might be in need of at the event. Maybe it's a snack, a little bit of chocolate goes a long way. Uh, something of that effect to help and make sure that you have it front and center so that people know it's there. Don't make them come search for it. You wanna show it and flash it out so that they come to you knowing what you have. Um, and do a demonstration. If you have the kind of business where you can demonstrate something, you're selling vacuum cleaner, great, vacuum the street or let somebody vacuum the street. Um, and anything that you can demonstrate that shows people what it is you're trying to sell, what it is you're trying to do, um, they're more likely to spend money and time on your product or your service if they can test it out or, or witness it in its great glory. Um, so if you can do any kind of demonstration, that's always great too. Plus it gives people something to do, something to watch. Um, check, my caveat to all of this is check with the event coordinators just to make sure all of this, you know, these ideas that you have now are okay with them. Some of them they may shy away from, especially with demonstrations is why I mentioned it, especially if you're getting into things like cooking things um, and, and anything that might need some prep work that might not be okay for you to do at an event. So check with that. Um, you know, if you have a salon, a beauty salon, a, a spa, um, maybe do some facials there on the street or pay people's nails, uh, something of that effect that people can see what it is you're doing, they can test it out or witness it. Um, entertain people while they're there. Uh, hopefully the event is entertaining enough, but if you have a little extra entertainment, that'll gain you some extra minutes with the crowd. Um, maybe you have an artist who can set up an easel and stand next to you and paint the surroundings of your booth space. Um, maybe you have a mime um, or maybe one of those, I don't even know what they're called, but they're like a statue. I, I guess it's a mime too, but they stand stock still. Um, and you don't really know it's a real person um, until they twitch or they blink <laughs> and then it freaks you out. Um, but anything like that, that is good entertainment for people. Maybe someone's juggling there. Maybe you have some, somebody who can play the guitar in the corner of your booth. Um, those are great ways to engage people. They're always, you know, what is that? What are you doing? What do you have? Um, so anything you can do that that piques people's interest will help them come to you. And then there's also contests. So going back to the beginning where we said, you know, people always love to win stuff, um, have contests, have raffles um, with bigger prizes. I've seen some of our um, sponsors at some of the events that I help with have things like a grill, um, a, a really nice bicycle, something of that effect. Um, if you can make the prizes also go with the theme of the event, that would be great. Um, but do something that people want. Um, you know what I mean? If I've seen people who have prizes where it's like, eh, you know, because we all know 
you're getting my name and address or email or phone number out of this. If I'm going to enter your raffle, if I'm going to enter your contest, if I'm going to win this thing, I'm giving you my contact information. That's basically how this is working. So you're not fooling anybody, but make it worth a while. Make it something that people want um, and make it engaging itself, the contest itself. Um, so it isn't just, you know, fill out this form, put it here and we'll call you next week. Um, but try to do something that's a little more engaging than that. Something that's exciting. Maybe it's, you know, fill it out, put it in the thing and we're going to spin it all around or blow it with air or whatever. And we're going to do one every hour while you're here. So you're winning on the spot some, some way. Um, maybe it's a jar full of gumballs and it's, you know, how many gumballs are in the jar. And at the end of the day, we're going to, you know, the winner is the person who's on, right on the spot or the closest. Um, maybe it's a trivia question. No Googling allowed. You can't use your devices, but maybe ask a trivia question and people who win win a prize or people who get the right answer win a prize, something of that nature. Um, maybe it's, um, you know, you've got a meme or a photo and it's the best caption wins. Um, we're going to have a panel of judges and whoever comes up with the best caption for this picture is going to win the prize. Um, or maybe I've even had some people do, um, we want feedback. What types of things could our company do? What kind of product, what kind of service could we provide that would be the best? Or what's you know, something that we could change or add? Um, and so the best advice would win the contest. Anything that you use then in your company because it was such great feedback, that person who made that suggestion is a winner. Um, so those are some suggestions for me about ways that you can engage a little bit more heavily at these events. Um, you don't want to be standing around bored with nothing to do and no one to talk to. So create some activity, some, some bustle or some buzz around your table when you're participating in events to get more people to come to you. Um, it's the best way at, just to meet people, to have conversations, but also to bring you leads because most likely that's why you're there um, participating in this event is to get leads for your business, to get new potential clients, to find out that maybe the temperature of the community about your company and how they feel about what you're doing. So uh, really there's only one way to do that. And that is to be engaging, to have those conversations. If you're standing there alone, doing nothing, don't expect people to come to you. You need to create that, that buzz around you. So those are some of my suggestions. If you have other suggestions, I'd love to see them in the comments. Um, if you have questions, add them to the comments. And if there's anything that I can be talking about or blogging about, um, let me know. I'd love to hear what some of your suggestions for me are. Thanks so much. See you next time.